welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I've kind of got somewhat of a Angelina Jolie kind of everyday look. And if she had short hair. So, if you want to see how I did this using my daughter's Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, smells delish. So, if you want to look like Angelina and smell like a candy bar, so stay tuned and I will show you how I did this look. And maybe I'll do some more celebrities, so keep that in mind. Um, like celebrities, politicians, um, singers, movie stars, you know, anybody in the news. I may do sweet boy. We're going to take the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Mine is Santa Fe. And I just shook it up. So I'm going to put a little bit on my hand. Got my hand full of makeup and my beauty blender that I'm going to blotch it on there. My face. Or everywhere. Okay, now I'm going to take my concealer, which is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Waterproof Concealer. And I'm just going to add actually quite a bit on my hand. Take my Beauty Blender on this side. And I'm going to go under my eyes. Using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer, it is 02 Light Medium. And I'm going to be going and highlighting some of the areas where I find that on Angelina's a little bit light. Um, naturally, the light under the eye area. Kind of go down the nose a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of do the chin, the forehead with all my wrinkles. That area. Back to my beauty blender. Dab it out a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer. My little palette that I bought the other day it came in the mail. Um, I'm going to start off with um, actually the lightest. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened there. So I'm going to start off with this one right here. It comes with a little brush. I'm, I'm just going to use the brush they gave me. And I'm going to go ahead and work up here on, my, on the area that I think. I'm going to switch to the darker shade right here. I'm going to actually kind of go down my nose just a little bit. Give it that more defined look. Look, Angelina. Also, I'm going to go right here into my lip because I want it to give the bigger, you know, her fuller lips. Um, so I'm going to give the illusion that I have some bigger bottom lip. I'm going to get a little bit more defined cheekbones. Just kind of run that down. I'm also going to be going along here to give it that illusion. Oh, looks kind of like poop. Or mud. We'll, we'll say it's mud. Okay, now we're going to blend all that in. Okay, don't forget to set all this with 
some powder and I'll be using the pressed powder from Ulta. Just gonna go over this very quickly. Okay, the next step is I'm gonna be adding a little bit of brow first and this is going to be, um, I'll be using the Mary Kay Deep Brown Eyeliner. I'll be using this as my, for my eyebrows. And I know she wore them quite thin, so. Okay, because it's handy, I'm going to put a little bit of the um, Estee Lauder um, concealer on my eyes as an eye primer. Just because I have it close by. Okay, for her eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette that smells like real chocolate. Oh, mmm, here. Then just go. all the way up my brow bone. Okay, now I'm gonna be using this color right here. And I'm just gonna put it uh, on the lower part of my lid. I'm using the same bro uh, brush, I just cleaned it off a little. And dab some in there. Okay, now I'm going to be using this kind of a, no, well, it's kind of like a light brownish, um, it's a more than that um, kind of finish. Uh, I'm just taking the same brush and dabbing it in and then I'll be putting it kind of on the crease of my eye because she had a little bit of brown. Kind of up here. The crease of her eye. Next, I'm going to be taking the my Real Technique shading brush, and I'll be using a little bit of this uh, color down here. It's a light, shimmery kind of color. I will be using this top one here to kind of make it not such a shiny color, but it's going to make my the brow bone kind of pop out a little bit more. So we're going to touch this up here a little bit. black eyeliner and uh, I know in this picture it looks like she has more of a brownish kind of an eyeliner but I will address that in just a second. Okay once I have the eyeliner how I want it I'm going to take from the palette my well I'm going to take this color the dark color down here from uh, the chocolate bar palette and I'm going to take the smudge brush from Mary Kay and just kind of dip a little bit in here and I'm going to go over that black eyeliner that I was telling you about to kind of set it in place and not make it such a harsh okay and in the picture you can see that her eyelashes are very defined and long but they don't look fake so we're going to just plump our eyelashes I'm just going to go up it like this and then my top lash on top 01 extreme black so I'm going to go ahead kind of get that ready for you and put this on they say what really saves your mascara is when you get ready to use it, just unfold it all the way out. And that causes it to dry up less. And then when you get ready, when you use it and you get ready to put it back in, you're supposed to just roll it back in. And that helps it from drying out, which makes it last longer. And now you can see that takes a long time. So most people take it out or they go, oh God, oh, I'm getting low, which really means it's drying up because more likely you didn't really use all of it. So what you do, you pump it. How many times have you did this or you've seen other women do this? You're not supposed to pump it up. You're supposed to just, or you know, you try to scrape the sides. You're supposed to turn and that's supposed to save it. So it's kind of up to you. If you're in a hurry, you're not going to roll it out. But I'm going to show you another trick to get it from being all on 
clumpy kind of. So stay tuned for that one. But I was going to tell you what you can do with your eyelashes, your, I'm sorry, your mascara. Um, is clumping up and kind of getting a little bit where you just, you know, we all can't do that method every time. What I use, and this does work, um, is I just take some. everyday eye drops and I just go ahead and put like, you know, one or two drops and kind of, it will loosen up a lot of that clumpy mascara so it doesn't look so bad when you put it on. Okay, the next step, I'll be taking the Urban Decay Flushed Palette Strip, I believe it's called, and I'm going to be using my um, oh, highlighter with my highlighter brush from The Real Techniques and just put it And I'm going to kind of go right in here, too, right above my... My, the, my Real Techniques pen go to my bronzer. And a lash, too because I know a lot of color. I mean, she had color, but it was more of like a new cheeks. So, I think I'm gonna use that. I lied. I'm actually gonna use a little bit of Estee Lock. A little bit in there. Kind of see. Kind of work it in a little bit. All right, one thing I forgot. Um, it's work I'm gonna take a little bit. I only have just a tiny little bit left of my white eyeliner, but I'm gonna put it on my waterline. Next, I'm going to brush out my eyebrows and then I'm gonna set them with the solution I got from L eyebrow one here. And I just brush it up. I think it actually darkens your eyebrows too a little bit. Maybe just because it's got that like a wet gel look to it. I don't know, but it really keeps your eyebrows in place. I love it. I think I only spent like one or two dollars for this online. Amazing. Then I'm going to take the lip primer and plumper from um, e.l.f. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And just Prime my lips to actually make them bigger. So I'm not really lining them out. I'm lining them and making them look bigger. Then I'm going to be taking my beige shimmer pure color. It's 12 AA3, it's Estee Lauder. It came in one of the little samples, so. But it has this kind of a very neutral kind of look to it, so. Now I'm gonna be taking the primer part of this. This is the part that burns. Oh my God, I've gotta get some Botox. Oh, I have to get ready for it. Get ready. I have to mentally prepare myself for this. Okay. Give me a second. There you can see Angelina and myself side by side. And both of my lips can fit in her bottom lip. I'm going to pick a different celebrity next time. Anyhow, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe and you can find me on all social media outlets. And I'll leave all the links below. Alright, everybody have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video Friday. So, take care. Thanks guys. Bye.